Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome back to another video here in Microsoft Flight Simulator and quite recently we've been talking a lot on this channel about ATC which is AI controlled. Obviously we've had a look at Beyond ATC and Say Intentions, two programs which in their own respects are using AI to help better the world of virtual air traffic control in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, as it stands, both programs both do air traffic control, but in different ways. Beyond ATC has incredible voices, making things ultra realistic when you're in the flight deck, depending on where around the world you are flying. It also will have a traffic injector built in as well, so that the virtual air traffic controller will actually control the traffic around you, meaning that you're not going to get aircraft crashing into each other and so many go-arounds like we do with the default air traffic control. However, Say Intentions is a little bit different. Say Intentions AI actually is backed by ChatGPT, which means that it is not air traffic control on the rails, so to speak. None of the responses that it gives you or instructions that it gives you are pre-scripted as they are with programs like Beyond ATC. Say Intentions is almost like chatting to an actual live human because it's backed by ChatGPT and the AI systems. Now, when Say Intentions first got released, it was primarily just for GA and VFR flights. However, they have now started rolling out support for IFR flights, airliner flights, and that is what we are going to today put to the test in this video, just to see how well it will do. So. I thought we'd take a flight here from Inibuilds London Heathrow Airport, which you can purchase today using the link shown on screen now, and doing so would also help support the channel. We're going to do a shuttle flight up to Manchester Airport. It's not a long flight, but it should be enough to see how well the ChatGPT AI air traffic control system handles an airliner flight here in the UK. So I really hope you enjoy this showcase flight and what I'd really like is for you to leave a comment down below uh, telling me what your thoughts are on how the process is working and what you hear and see in the video. Okay, so here we are on the ground at Heathrow Stand 509. We are Shuttle 3 Tango today, just heading a short flight up country to Manchester. First of all, of course, let's grab our ATIS and see what that sounds like. Ing is requested. Read back all runway and hold short instructions. VFR departures contact clearance delivery on 121.9 or 8 advise on initial contact you have information hotel. London Heathrow Airport Information Hotel. Okay, so obviously you get the text shown as well down here, so you can see it at all times if you need to. Of course, other than that, you would obviously write it down. Now for the interesting part then, let's try and get an IFR clearance. Now, usually, say Intentions, when it was first released, of course, was designed primarily for VFR flights. This is a new update allowing us to do IFR flights, which, as it says there on screen, is about 8% complete. Of course, if we were in the USA, we'd probably get things a little bit more realistic with uh, the USA way of working the fact we're in the UK today means we might get something a little bit different, but I am intrigued to see just how well this works. So let's uh, let's give that a shout. Heathrow clearance, shuttle 3 Tango, stand 509, type A320, requesting IFR clearance to Manchester, and we have information hotel. You can see straight away as well that it's got my uh, voice, got the voice recognition working absolutely perfect it's uh, it's very good at uh, picking up different dialects now of course we have to wait for the response and this is probably where say intentions is uh, slow compared to other products because it is AI it does take time to compute the response shuttle tree tango Heathrow clearance information hotel is correct cleared to the Manchester aerodrome via the UMLA 1G departure then is filed Departure runway 27 right. Initial climb to flight level 4,000 feet. 
departure on 134.9 Squawk 2351. All right, so the first thing that perhaps hits us is the fact we're in Heathrow, UK, yet we've still got an American air traffic controller. That is hopefully something that is going to change in the future. We did the readback clearance and then we heard. Shuttle 3 Tango, readback correct. Expect runway 27 left. Contact ground on 121.905. Alright, so that was interesting. They've now told us to expect runway 27 left, where the initial clearance was 27 right. Let's see what we actually end up with. Okay, so we'll request pushback, and then what's really going to be interesting is to see how the AI will route us around Heathrow. I'll get the charts up, and we'll see how realistic that is is Heathrow Ground Shuttle 3 Tango Stand 509er is ready for push and start. Oh, shuttle 3 Tango London Heathrow Ground push and start approved face east. Expect runway 27 left for departure. Contact tower on 124.475 when ready for departure. This time then, we did get a British voice, which is great, showing that the St. Angels team have got this certainly well underway, meaning that realistic voices are coming as part of the package as well. They did tell us though to face east, which technically would mean making a pushback and facing 180 degrees. Now that's obviously not going to happen. North or south is where we should push from here. They've also told us to contact the tower straight away, which is a little bit premature. Let's see how this plays out. Okay, so we've now pushed back, the tug's clear, we're cleared left and right. Now the last instruction was for us to contact the tower. Obviously I'm still on the ground frequency, so I am going to request our taxi still on the ground frequency before moving over to tower, and we'll see how uh, we'll see how that does. I will of course refer to the charts, we've got them up here. Let's, uh, let's see what happens. Heathrow Ground Shuttle 3 Tango is ready for taxi. Shuttle Tree Tango Taxi to Holding Point Alpha 1 via Alpha and Bravo. Hold short of runway 27 left. Contact tower on 124.475 when ready for departure. Okay, let's see how realistic that taxi looked then. So, Alpha, yep. And then Bravo. Which takes us all the way down if we have a quick look. Zoom in. Um, it told yeah, us to hold Alpha 1. Echo, Mike, hold short of taxiway, golf which... Traffic on final approach. Whilst not holding entirely short, accurate, rear, two, two, five, echo, Mike. looks like it is uh, one of the holding points just here on Alpha. Now, one of the things that um, the Say Intentions team do say is that taxi instructions on the ground are one of the most difficult things for them to try and get the AI to do at the moment. In fact, if anyone has actually got any experience in trying to work with the team to get this um, to be realistic, they're offering some financial sort of uh, payment and reward for that. So, might be worth checking in on their Discord server if you think you might be able to help them. For now though, we're going to make this taxi and then we will contact the tower. Now you'll have also heard some canned AI communications there. They are no way are they controlling AI traffic at the moment, so it's literally just for background chatter. Okay, so we are now holding short. ATC told us town frequency was 124475. However, if we have a look on here, it does actually give you all the frequencies that you need. So there's a little discrepancy just there. We'll try the frequency that they told us to contact and, uh, and see if we get a response. Heathrow Tower Shuttle 3 Tango holding short runway 27 left. Shuttle Tree Tango London Heathrow Tower Runway 27 left line up and wait. Line up and wait 27 left Shuttle 3 Tango. Okay, well that is our clearance given. Now remember of course that we are uh, using say intentions ATC. I've got FSLTL uh, traffic on and they do not Shuttle Tree Tango, runway 27 left, line up and wait. They do not actually interact with each other, so there's a good chance here. I just wanted to see if it was going to warn us of other traffic. It doesn't seem to be doing at the moment. Shuttle Tree Tango, line up and wait, runway 27 left. Give Shuttle Tree Tango wins 220 at 21 runway 27 left, cleared for takeoff. Cleared takeoff, runway 27 left, Shuttle Tree Tango.
Subtle Tree Tango contact departure on 134 decimal 908. 134 decimal 908, Shuttle 3 Tango, goodbye. Heathrow departure, Shuttle 3 Tango, passing 3000 for 4000 on the Umlat 1 Golf departure. Shuttle 3 Tango climb and maintain flight level 4000. Maintain 4000, Shuttle 3 Tango. So we've been told to maintain 4,000 feet. Now that is most likely, whilst a little bit unrealistic, it's most likely because at the moment what the AI is doing is just using the constraints that we've got on the standard instrument departure that we have uh, we've been given. So I would expect it to tell us. Uh, in a minute or two's time to continue the climb up to say 6,000 feet giving us potentially a step climb or it may surprise us and take us straight to our cruising altitude I guess we shall uh, wait and see Shuttle 3 Tango climb and maintain flight level 18,000 report reaching flight level Climb maintain flight level 180 and will report reaching Shuttle 3 Tango after that, we're going to put it to the test and maybe ask for some directs, a shortcut, maybe a little diversion around weather, just to throw some things at the AI air traffic controller and see how it deals with them. London Centre, good afternoon, Shuttle 3 Tango, passing flight level 120 for flight level 180. Shuttle 3 Tango, London Control, negative radar contact. Please verify you're squawking 2351 and your transponder is set to mode C. Stand by, Shuttle 3 Tango. Okay, so they did give the squawk code back on the ground, remember? Did I put the squawk code in? No. Have they told me off? Yes. So that's a little win for uh, for them and uh, egg on my face for uh, me. So standing by. let's pop that in then. That wasn't a deliberate test, by the way, in creating the video. I did forget to put the squawk code in. We are squawking more Charlie, though, so hopefully they should now uh, have radar contact. And Shuttle 3 Tango confirms squawking 2351. Shuttle 3 Tango radar contact. 20 miles north of RAF Halton at 14,700 feet. Halton altimeter 2980. Climb via the SID. Climb via the SID for Shuttle 3 Tango. Okay, so this is where, quite obviously, at the moment, it's still focused on the USA way of doing things. It's just given us an altimeter reading, which, of course, here in the UK, we would be on standard pressure by this point. But if we were flying in the USA, then... Shuttle 3 Tango, say again, your last transmission unclear. <laughs> well, then, again, if we were in the USA, the transition altitude is 18,000, which we are currently below. So giving us the altimeter would indeed be correct. Let's see if we can uh, get a little shortcut then um, in fact just before we do that let's see if we can ask to although there isn't any actual real build-ups around us let's see if we can uh, go left 20 degrees for uh, for weather shuttle tree go contact Manchester Center on 118 decimal 775 but we're going to change frequency first 118775 shuttle 3 tango bye bye Manchester Centre, Shuttle 3 Tango, flight level 180. Shuttle 3 Tango, Manchester Centre, roger. And Manchester Centre, Shuttle 3 Tango, could we get a left by 22 degrees to avoid some build-ups? Shuttle 3 Tango, turn left, heading 301 to avoid weather report when able to proceed on course. Left heading 301, thanks very much Shuttle 3 Tango, and we'll report back when uh, clear. So that was really nice, they understood what I meant as well of course, I just said to avoid some build-ups, they knew exactly what I was referring to, that was the weather of course. And that's where AI air traffic control is going to be really neat, you don't have to follow any sort of predetermined scripts, it will understand what you're saying and work out exactly what you mean, however you say it. I obviously could have said left to avoid some uh, build-ups or some CVs. Direct to Akupa. Expect the ILS runway 23 right approach into Manchester. Direct Akuba and expect ILS approach runway 23 right, Shuttle 3 Tango. Okay, let's go get ourselves set up and see how well they vector us in. Okay, so Akuba actually now is just a little bit behind us, so that direct really wouldn't work for us as we could see on the uh, display screen just there. Let's see if we can get a direct Elvos. 
And Shuttle 3 Tango, any chance we can go direct to Elvos, Echo, Liam, uh, Victor, Oscar Sierra? Shuttle 3 Tango cleared, direct Elvos. Direct Elvos for Shuttle 3 Tango. Always worth asking. Great that it understood what we needed and also knew which waypoint exactly that, uh, that we wanted to go to. The interesting part then is going to be to see how well they direct us for vectors to the ILS because here in the UK of course our standard arrival routes don't usually bring us straight down onto the start of the ILS approach like a lot of stars do in the USA. So the... Shuttle Tree Tango cleared direct Elvos. Maintain 272 knots until top of descent. Direct Elvos and maintain speed 270 until top of descent, shuttle 3 Tango. So yes, it'll be interesting to see how well the AI will vector us in to capture that ILS. Alright, so speed 270, let's reduce speed now. Shuttle 3 Tango descend and maintain flight level 140. Descend, maintain flight level 140, shuttle 3 Tango. Okay, so notice this time it did actually give us a flight level below 18,000 feet. So it's clear that there are some uh, improvements to the AI air traffic control because it is respecting the fact that we are still on standard pressure now as we would be until we got to 6,000 feet in Manchester. Okay, let's see how well it responds to this request. And Shuttle 3 Tango, we do have a passenger who's feeling a little bit unwell. Can we expect a, uh, a straightened approach to Manchester? Shuttle 3 Tango, understood. You are cleared for a straight-in approach to Manchester. Expect ILS approach runway 23 right. Advise if you need any assistance or medical services upon arrival. Expecting the ILS approach from way 2, 3, right, and uh, if we could get medical assistance at the gate, that would be lovely. Thank you, Shuttle 3, three Tango. Tango. Okay, well, normally we are not allowed to pass Dane, so... Unless ATC tell us that we can proceed, we will uh, need to hold at Dane. So we'll insert that and Shuttle tree tango descend and maintain five thousand. See what happens. Descend and maintain five thousand, shuttle three tango. So at this point we just enter the hold and let it run to see if the AI would take us out of the hold, give us vectors to intercept the ILS, but sadly that didn't happen. So I had to prompt the air traffic controller to see if we could get vectors direct to the ILS. Shuttle Tree Tango contact Manchester Tower on 119 or decimal 405. 119 405, Shuttle Tree Tango. Alright, so we have just been told to contact Tower, which of course is uh, not quite realistic yet because we wouldn't be told to contact Tower until, of course, we were on finals, which at the moment we're not even lined up. And Shuttle Tree Tango, could we get vectors to final, please? Shuttle Tree Tango turn left heading 29 or 5 to intercept the localizer descend and maintain 3000 until established on the glide path for ILS approach runway 2 tree right. Okay, so clearly at the moment the AI is struggling with just getting vectors to the final approach course. You can get working around that if you're not flying in the USA just by asking it for vectors, which is essentially what I had to do in this case. Remember, of course, if you are flying though in the USA or on an approach where the standard arrival route takes you right to that final approach point, then when they tell you to descend via the SID and clear the ILS approach, it would be absolutely fine. I have put this program to the test here in the UK where you do need an air traffic controller to vect you from, in this case, it would have been that waypoint, Dane, to bring you in for an intercept course for the ILS. It didn't give it as automatically, but once I asked it to, then it got us onto that ILS. All right. Shuttle Tree Tango clear to land runway 2 Tree Right, wind 217 at 35. So there we go, just 
a little insight into how ChatGPT's AI air traffic control system, courtesy of course, through the Say Intentions team, is currently working now for IFR as it is as well for VFR. Remember, VFR is where this program began and it's now transitioning over into IFR as well. Of course, it is AI based, which means that it is not cheap, around 30 US dollars per month in order to utilize this system but there is a free demo version available that you can check out as well the link to that is in the video description down below so do definitely go and check that out then come back here and let me know what you think of the product in its current form in the comment section down below Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video showcase. If you have, then please don't forget to leave a like. Of course, you can also subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on that notifications bell so you don't miss any future videos and, of course, our live stream flights. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all again on the next one. Bye-bye for now.